Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of Templars Director's Cut. Uh, left off here. Um, so I'm just going to go talk to this woman here. Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just... Well, it certainly is delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. I don't know what to talk to her about. Um, I guess... Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not sure. Sounds awful romantic. The Bull's Head Hill. No, it doesn't. She's weird. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Heavens, yes. What a big man. Very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most... Oh, you mean a taxi ride? No, Dwayne wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. Wow, that's... delightful. So, tell me a little about yourself, Pearl. Me? Oh, a gentleman's interest is always so flattering. Well, my husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. Akron? Cute? Little? Is your husband around, Pearl? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, he is. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, uh, I don't think that's too disappointing. Have you talked to the boy on the bric-a-brac stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Oh. Do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. Um... Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. Have you had anything from the kebab stand? Hey, heavens no, with my digestion. Do you know what il akal kalb means? My, sounds romantic. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is either. Um, let's look. Ask about Have you seen this man before? No. A friend of yours? No, not really. Um, I've got to go now. now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. I'll talk to her husband. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name's George Stobart. I don't know if anyone, you know, who's watching this has played uh, the second Broken Sword, but um, those two characters also make appearances in the second one, and if I remember correctly, their voices are different. Also, if you remember the uh, editor, Nico's editor, in the first uh, part of this game, um, the voice acting is uh, of another character in the second one as well, which, I don't know, it, I found it a little bit interesting, but anyway, I'll just keep on with this. I saw a medieval picture of a woman, royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? I think you should be in therapy. Why? 
Do you think bulls have any significance around here? Weird question, George. Nope, I don't think they have. Um, but... You're a long way from home, Dwayne. Could say the same about you, George. Me? Well, I'm just sightseeing, that's all. Without a camera? Kinda lags to come all this way and not take pictures. Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Uh, why? Ow! You could have warned me. You don't mind, do you, George? The folks back home will be real interested. <laughs> he did kind of have you ever picture. heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. Where is your wife, Dwayne? Pearl. Oh, she's around, looking for bargains. How long have you been married, Dwayne? Hell, must be uh, 30 years now. What exactly do you do, Dwayne? Didn't I say? Oh, I run a greeting card company. Yep, we're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland? Pearl said you're in Akron. What was that? Uh, nothing, just thinking out loud. Hmm, that's a bit weird. Have you talked to Nijo? Nijo? He's the youngster on that junk stand, right? Yeah, we've met him. He's a smart kid. Speaks four languages, and he's never had a day's formal education. He should go far. Kept trying to peddle garbage on us, though. You're not gonna find much worthwhile around here. I know that, and you know that. But try telling Pearl. She reckons there's antiquities in them Doris stamps. Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. <laughs> yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. Oh. Do you mind I if I ask you that. an odd question? Okay, but I might not answer it. Do you know anything about the Templars? The Knights Templar? Yep. Nope. Nothing at all. Well, you knew they were an order of knights. What I know and what I say are two different things, boy. I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. Oh, please. Weird. Does the image of a knight holding a crystal ball mean anything to you? Hell no. What would a knight want with a hunk of glass? I don't know. That's the problem. What's wrong, boy? It's not a crystal ball. It all came together in my head. What the conspirators had mentioned losing. The strange perspective of the manuscript. It's a lens. Oh, sweet. Have you seen this man before? Maybe. Where'd you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Sure. I'm always picking up photos of complete strangers and then asking around. Ow! Damn it! There. <laughs> I've got another picture of a complete stranger. Maybe I'll ask around about this one. <clears throat> Do you know the name Merlin? Nope. Okay, yeah, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. There were some great bargains on the shelf, providing you ran a junk museum. Um. I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. The next little bit of the... Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? The next little part of the thing hasn't opened up yet, which is annoying. What do you know about that couple? Oh, they're American. Is that all? The chap's a little odd. As for the lady, it's a funny thing. But I get the impression she's a lot cleverer than she's letting on. So all Templar means to you is Roger Moore. I only watched it for this stick man with the halo. Bing! 
He was better animated. Uh, have you seen this man before? No, sir. I'm glad to say. Cold eyes. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Okay, so maybe I have to leave the area and come back, maybe? Uh, I'll play try to talk to her before I do that. Hopefully it opens up. Maybe I'm just Hello again, Pearl. Something. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Um, keep losing the mouse because it's very bright compared to the cursor, the usual cursor. You said that your company is based in Akron. And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes, he did. Dwayne was in the Marines in Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. Thinks he's a spy or something. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, George. We live with it. No. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Well, now I've got the toilet brush. At least I can uh, do this thing up here. That might open it up, actually. Um, I'll give it to him. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, bah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning in detergent before go around my U-bend. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh, yes, indeedy. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, use the keys on the door. 